In a previous video, I tested Neewer's variable ND filters and used these drone selfie clips. In today's video, I'll show you exactly how I captured that shot using a custom-built selfie camera mount for the Mavic 3. Like many of my DIY builds, this project came together thanks to 3D printing and on shape. This was before I even had a 3D scanner, but I found a very accurate Mavic 3 scan already uploaded to Onshape, which saved me a lot of time. The DJI Action 2 is small and lightweight, so I just needed to design a simple bracket to hold it in front of the gimbal without getting the mount in the shot. I started with a base and planned to use standard GoPro style attachments and locking brackets. The front section would slide in and connect via a rod held together with screws. Someone had also already modeled the DJI Action 2 in on shape, so I imported that digital twin into the project and roughly aligned it in position. Once the geometry looked good, I added GoPro locking tabs and screw holes. The design would be printed in three parts. The front and rear parts would be printed in PLA, but I knew the middle piece that is designed to flex around the drone body needed to be TPU. This part had to stretch slightly during installation, so flexible filament was a must. After a few tweaks to the locks, I printed the first prototypes. I must say, the Mavic 3 model was scanned perfectly. The printed parts were a tight and accurate fit. Ignore the stringing, I didn't dry the filament. I didn't care as this was just a quick prototype. TPU supports are a nightmare to remove, by the way. But the bracket clipped on beautifully. Next, I screwed the rod into the front section and slid everything together. I found these nuts at a local hardware store and used them for the GoPro style screws. Assembly required a bit of force, so I'll add more clearance in the next version. Since everything fits so well, I printed the rear part in an ultra hard TPU I normally use for RC car bumpers. It's strong, flexible, and perfect for this kind of mount. With everything assembled, I turned on the camera and there it was, the first selfie shot. It looked awesome. I used the standard magnetic DJI action mount to secure the camera itself. Even though the rig was ready, I did notice a small issue. You could still see part of the bracket in the frame. So I reprinted the main pieces in gray to better match the drone's body. Not an exact match, but close enough. With the gray parts, the bracket kind of looks like it's part of the drone. The design works, but I'd still make a few changes if I were to use it again, or if you want to download and customize it. First, I'd make the top bracket adjustable in length. That would let me fine tune the camera position. Right now it's a bit too close and the drone's gimbal isn't properly in focus. Second, I would add a counterweight to the back of the drone. As expected, the added front weight makes the drone tip forward a little bit. Some printed weight holders for the rear folding arms would solve that easily. And that's it for today. Before you go, hit that subscribe button and smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to check out my other videos. Thanks for watching.